Even though Ken Paxton is the one on trial, the attorneys in this case are likely to be the real show. The evidence is strong as horseradish, and uh, Rusty's right about that. It's worse than the public knows. The two main prosecutors are legendary Texas lawyers, Dick DeGuerin and Rusty Hardin. Republican leaders in the Texas House of Representatives hired them to prosecute Paxton to make the case why Paxton should be removed from office. For seven years, his conduct in all kinds of ways, it's not a single incident or two or three, as I've said, it is a whole pattern of conduct uh, that is that is just a cancer on the justice system in Texas. Harden and DeGuerin have defended some of the most notable names of the last few decades. Athletes like Scottie Pippen and Roger Clemens, along with David Koresh from the Branch Davidians in Waco, just to name a few. DeGuerin defended former U.S. House Majority Leader Tom DeLay, a Republican. Harden was one of the prosecutors in the Whitewater case against the Clintons. From a legislative body, not something that we could all be proud of. On the other side, Tony Busby will defend Ken Paxton. Busby also a high profile lawyer with swagger from Houston who enjoys the spotlight. Busby got big settlements against BP after the Deepwater Horizon disaster in the Gulf of Mexico back in 2009. He later bought a World War II era tank and parked it outside his Houston mansion in River Oaks. After neighbors complained, Busby donated it to Texas A&M. Four years ago, Busby ran unsuccessfully for mayor of Houston. He recently announced a run for Houston City Council during all of this. Busby, DeGuerin, and Hardin are three of the best trial lawyers that money can buy, but this is not a legal trial. It's a political one. Rules were established by Republicans in the state Senate, and the senators themselves are the jurors. Yes, they are Paxton's peers, but they are hardly impartial. Each is a politician, one a former roommate of the accused. But will they weigh the evidence objectively? That is the challenge before Busby, DeGuerin, and Hardin, who will navigate us through an impeachment trial this state has not seen in more than a century. In Dallas, I'm Jason Whiteley. WFA's live streaming coverage of the trial continues tomorrow morning at 8.30. Investigative reporter Tanya Iser and a panel of political experts are bringing us insight and analysis of the testimony. You can watch at home on WFAA Plus or on the go at WFAA.com.